good morning it is oh I don't know early <laughs> I uh, have this weird inability to sleep past 7 o'clock matter of fact this morning I woke up at 5 o'clock on the dot it is 6.59 uh, no one's supposed to be here until about 9 o'clock or so yesterday I ran out of storage on my only SD card I had now I have four 124 gig memory cards, so we're good there. Um, at any rate, I got tired. I, I was done yesterday. Once once I couldn't film anymore, and the boys were almost done pouring all the poles, I had had enough, so I gave it up for the day. It was about 1, 1.30 yesterday. I've been sitting down on my butt for the last two years. Uh, I had a something happened to me a couple years ago. That's why I wear the sympathy boot and all that. But we'll, we'll get into that in another video soon, actually. Uh, anyway, uh, this morning I got a little bit of excavator work I got to do, and then once everyone gets here, <clears throat> oh, that's another one. Big deal. My truck, my personal truck. 2013 Chevy Silverado. I got it back finally. It's been in the shop for three months to get a transmission fixed because apparently they couldn't get parts or whatever. I'm just happy she's home. Anyway, all this wood. I had plans to build a small deck because. Oh, geez. Slow moving this morning. That ramp right there is about to come out. So is all that brown stamped concrete. That's coming out too. We'll talk about that later. <clears throat> anyway, so we're getting a new porch built. <clears throat> the plan was I was going to do the rough work and then we were going to have someone come in and trex it like the front porch. But now we're going to let the builder do that because, well, I'm not a carpenter. Here's the fence, we got that. We're gonna hang that today on the poles that we hung yesterday. All that's going back to Home Depot. And uh, yeah, so well, I'll show you what we're doing here in a minute. smack in the middle of the hole so got a little extra mud there that's fine <clears throat> so anyway our plan is to put fabric and stone in between each of these poles so I don't have to weed whack ever again and that's the plan <clears throat> hopefully it works I don't see why it shouldn't but in order to make that happen I gotta clean out in between all these poles we got just a tool for that this is a 42 inch ditching bucket. See it's flat, it's got no teeth on it. What we're gonna do with this is we're gonna pull whatever dirt from the outside of the fence into the hole and then dig out just a little bit of this trench and then we're gonna pull all the dirt into this corner because that's all low in there and then we're gonna start up there and do the same thing this way. Then over there in the first section that I'm doing a whole bunch time shoot. You can't see from here anyway. You'll see. We're, 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 we got some stuff to do.
So there's a little bit of a pile up. There's a little bit of a pile up. Not too awful much. But there's so much junk in it. Concrete, rocks, grass. I think there's a bed spring in there. I'm just gonna dig it out, fill it all in, and seed it when I'm getting closer to finishing this backyard. So for now, the doggies will have a pile of dirt plan. We'll call that good. I'm gonna finish up the other side, and then it's time to go get my coffee. got that done this side anyway that side is just a little pile here and there we'll throw that back in the hole get that by hand we still got some hand work to do but these piles of dirt that pile and the one that's on the other side we're gonna we're gonna bring a skid seer in this isn't the right tool for grade work and I just don't want to spend three hours grading something that's gonna get tore up again when we go to do that job which I'm super looking forward to. I put that hot tub on that on that deck, and I'm thinking about uh, 4,500 to 5,000 pounds being on it. The first winter, <clears throat> excuse me, the first spring we had it. The freeze thaw, the dang thing sunk like nine inches. Matter of fact, the very first thing I did with this excavator when I brought it home was wrap a strap around it, pick it up shove a bunch of blocking under it to hold it up from sinking I've been telling the old lady we'll get the deck fixed we'll get the deck fixed give it one more year give it one more year well it's been three one more years so we're gonna get to get the deck fixed also I'm thinking those bushes are coming out yeah because there is an access for the crawl space that this room here used to be the garage and there's an access for the crawl space under that door. See where that plywood is? That's where I fell through the deck. And I stepped on it and I went right through. And uh, was right, right when I first started walking after my accident. <coughs> um, so, excuse me. So anyway, I need to make an access. I need this to block that access up and make a new access over here, I think. Maybe an egress window, well, window well thingy. I don't know. Tell me in the comments what you would do, because I, that's really a roadblock for me, is where am I gonna have access to my crawl space? Oh, maybe, maybe right here. Uh, there's gonna be steps here. I mean, I'm never going in there, so as long as there's room for a skinny guy to get in there, we can make it in there. I'm not getting in there ever again. So anyway, time for me to go get my stuff in my personal truck. Oh, I've been driving my tool truck around for the last three months. Doesn't have air, doesn't have a radio. I'm excited to have my truck back. One thing I just noticed, because I didn't uh, check yesterday, and I didn't babysit. But I told the guy in the concrete truck to wash out in my fire pit. That's in the fire pit. This is next to the fire pit. In the fire pit. Next to the fire pit. In the fire pit. <sighs> really? Oh. Christmas guy I got here a little while ago. Or I guess see if the guy and Chris, I don't know who's in charge of it. Doesn't really matter. They're doing it together. Got all the five and a quarter boards loaded up in the back of the mule. And I'm getting them laid out. These that them two poles there didn't quite make the eight foot cut, so we gotta pick up a ten footer. We're gonna go to Home Depot, as I said earlier. So, I <clears throat> don't even know if it matters. 
probably cut most of this out, but I cleaned up the grade. Like I said, those piles are gonna stay for now. We gotta we're gonna build the sidewalk and a patio in here and I might use some of that for fill dirt later. Well, I move the dirt all the way back there just to bring it back if I need it. So I always tell people when I dig basements, is we can backfill the hole later. Whatever dirt we have left, we can take it out later. That way we don't take too much out and have to bring it back in. This trucking's expensive. Especially today. Five dollar and 40 cent diesel fuel which i wonder why back ah, it doesn't matter oh looks like another 10 footer goes right there he said there's one per line where they got a little spaced out too far uh, mainly because uh them holes like i said the holes were hard to dig because they were full of rock, hard clay, dry hard clay. So, yeah. All right, maybe we'll uh, take you guys to Home Depot and get some the right stuff, including the material we need for this guy to build me a gate. Danny, you want to explain what we're going to do? We'll stretch some wire after we get some bracing up. Get yeah. Up. Stretch, stapled. So in case you're wondering exactly how that's done, I guess you're just gonna have to watch and see. He's not he doesn't like to explain stuff. I'm a doer, not a shower. Yeah, right. He's a grower, not a shower. Exactly. Alright. Yesterday? No, I'm not allergic to it, bro. Well, I, I did. Are you allergic to it? Never used to be. Side of. Yeah. That string's 1,250 pound test, right? So I got plenty of power, pulling power on it. Perfect. The winch is 2,500 pounds. If, I need but pliers on the back of that mule. That's Harbor you Freight. Fucking bar from the shop. Don't need it. Yeah, that's a good one. So with all the mule, how are you gonna do it? Just come along to that tree or something? When you stretch past your opening, you can keep it tighter to where if we were just to have to stretch off of this, you're gonna have a little bit yeah, less the, tightness. The tighter the better. Staple it. Yeah. Some some of those staples you're so you're giving them one and a half inch barbed galvanized. 
staples. These guys are dirty. I screwed up. I, I broke. I broke it. it. So we got to add another pole, which is fine. I secretly kind of wanted to do that one anyway because it was old and rotten, like the other forty-two of them, thirty-six of them, whatever. So we're gonna yeah, but put a new pole in, and we'll just use bad concrete for this one. It's not structural. Just needs to hold the gate closed. So yeah, and they are getting started on the five and a quarter board. Except for that one that was supposed to be a ten footer that somebody cut to fit. So now I gotta go back to Home Depot and get another piece. What? Shit happens. So yeah, well, uh, not nothing really exciting going on. So we'll probably just come see you when we're all done. Turns out I'm kind of bad at this videotape and stuff thing. But I'm going to get better. Well, we're just starting with the top stringers and I'm going to get that in time lapse because that's cool.
Looking. Looks like a, looks like a piece of wood. A whole bunch of pieces of wood. Uh, we can move it if need to be. Push it in. We have to lift it up a little bit, but we'll see what else can Oh yeah, we got plenty of room to move it. So we'll start by lifting. Till I say when. Take the bottom towards you. Bottom towards that way. Keep going. No, bottom that way. Yeah, there you go. A little more. What about there? Drop it down here, right there. Now, let me pull this one. Do the same thing with the top. Put it down. Oop, too much. Right there. Okay. That should be enough to hold it. Now let's make sure it's going to swing. Well, other than it swings there, enough, but we're going to put sidewalk there eventually. It swings enough for now. Then I'll put your latch right here. Perfect. That looks very nice. Mm -mm -mm. I did it right. You can't even tell post starts right. I did good work. This post moved in the after the concrete was put in. It's crazy. It's like not enough to mess with me though. Somebody said, uh, "Don't don't dig that out till it's closer set." I didn't touch it till this morning. Doesn't matter. Okay, we'll move that post every time. Where are they at? All right, I got to switch bits. Number two, can we give that to you now or I mean I can put it away? I mean I can't, I mean. Fence is done. Gates are in. I can't get a shot of the gate over there, just trust me, it's in. Fence is in. We found the footing for the hot for the, this used to be the garage. We found the footing, so we had to cheat the pole back a little bit that way, but that's what it is. That's gonna do it for the first part of the series, which I have not come up with a name yet. <clears throat> now, maybe you guys can help me in the comments. Epic, backyard, landscaping, redo, I don't know, something. Danny, I'd like to thank you, sir. No worries. You guys, been doing awesome what, the last two days, Chris. <clears throat> and then Dustin, 
almost forgot Dustin's name. He's he's already left. He had to go home and take care of his kids. But we're done. Fence is done. So part one of this series is in the books. Click the like, subscribe button, share it with your friends. That's the best way to support. Share, share, share. Even if you didn't like the video, just share it. Someone you know might like it. Please, thank you. See you. Love you. Bye.